because the price increase is also really killing the brands because I think that's also what's making people really bitter towards these brands is how much the prices have gone up and they're simply just not willing to play the game anymore and you know try and save up to buy another bag when it's gone up a thousand dollars in a few months like, hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess today i wanted to talk about if it's cringe to wear luxury these days in 2024 and i know i'm being a little bit dramatic with that title but i noticed that over the last few years there's been a real kind of like waviness when it comes to popularity with these big designer houses. I mean, if you look at a designer house like Bottega Veneta, it was kind of on like a downward spiral. And then when Daniel Lee became the creative director, it kind of shot up. But now I feel like it's kind of on the down again, but that doesn't mean that in another five years it won't go back up. And I feel like across the board with a lot of luxury brands, Gucci, even like some of the Louis Vuitton collections coming out, they're not selling as well as they were maybe last year or the year before. And it seems like uh, there's less people interested in a luxury right now than maybe there was back in the lockdowns in Melbourne or, you know, maybe in 2022. It just seems like it's on a bit of a down. And I don't know whether it's going to keep going down and luxury is just like, you know, a sinking ship or whether it's gonna it's probably gonna come back up again but I was inspired to make this video because I was watching Sophie's show hair and I was reading the comments on her video I'll link the video below and one of her fellow subscribers said uh, the luxury market is overall imploding and only hanging on due to the US and especially China is down 40 to 75 percent the CEOs of LVMH caring etc have stated that and to be honest, I don't know if that is true that these uh, companies are like that down in China because uh, China is a very much a big part of the profits that these uh, big companies rely on. Uh, and it is a massive market. So if sales are down in China, it really impacts on the overall sales globally. And it means that these stores in other countries like the US uh, or in Australia, uh, Europe, they're going to have a lot more pressure put on them if it's not performing as well in countries like China. And it made me think, are people in, I mean, there's a lot of wealth in China, but I've also noticed this trend towards rebelling against luxury and how luxury is kind of like not as cool anymore. And uh, recently I watched a video from Super Dake of talking about how there's this trend to wear McDonald's bags and, and like, I guess, it's kind of like a stick it to you, the man kind of attitude of like, you know, we're over these designer brands. We just want to wear like fun and silly bags. In Melbourne, I've noticed a lot of people wearing really silly bags, like jelly cat bags, something like this. Like people who are literally, you know, they might have still a Gucci t-shirt, but then they're wearing a jelly cat bag. And I think this is, this is like kind of rebellion against these designer houses because there are a lot of factors that are kind of peeving us off about them mainly the price increases, maybe the quality as well, but also maybe we're just sick of it because as I said, during the pandemic, during uh, those times where we were a little bit, you know, looking for a security blanket, looking for some hope, we went to these designer brands and we really indulged. And I know what during like, you know, the lockdowns in Melbourne, I was buying tons of Louis Vuitton and Chanel, but, you know, I was stressed and a lot of people stress shopped through that time. And I think that Maybe our designer habits are a thing of that time and we want to like break out of that now. Are you still like feeling as obsessed with luxury as maybe a few years ago? Or I know everybody is different, but you know, money talks. And if the sales are down across these luxury houses, it means that there's less people into them. When I posted my video about the, the Hermes lawsuit, I noticed that a lot of my comments were really hating on Hermes almost judging people who do go on a journey and spend their money at Hermes. And in a way, I think it's become cringe to uh, like look like, you know, want to seek a Birkin or a Kelly. And perhaps in China, there was a lot of that uh, kind of community happening as well, where they were obsessed with buying these quota bags to the point where now they just sick of being taken advantage of in that way. And it's become almost like cringe to wear a Birkin. And I know that Birkins in particular are associated with status and power. And I think people don't really love the idea of having to prove your worth 
through luxury items anymore. I think that's been overdone and you see these like wealthy housewives and all that wearing these designer brands and it's almost like a turn off now. So I think younger people are not wanting to invest into that sort of thing because the whole idea of, you know, flexing your wealth to prove that you're part of this uh, s social status is kind of cringe in a way. And a lot of people are associating things like the Birkin and, you know, the Mini Kelly or even a Chanel Classic Flap with that idea in mind. And so a lot of people do not want to invest in bags like that anymore or things that are overly recognizable as luxury. I also think that, uh, you know, bags like the Gucci Marmot, you know, that Gigi logo, even Louis Vuitton Monogram, uh, although they're oversaturated, I think they've also lost their novelty because of that. And they're probably in China, it's less cool to wear Gucci bags like it was three years ago. And maybe that's why Gucci isn't doing as well as uh, they were. And, you know, Alessandra McKaylee really made them boom for a while. And I would say at the end of his time at Gucci, that his style, like that over-the-top Gigi logo vibe, wasn't cool anymore. So the, the, that's why they had to change the way that they were, I guess, branded. And so the, But the Sabato Dasano, uh, I guess, theme of Gucci now, it's a little bit more classic looking. It's less, you know, over-the-top glitzy glam. I don't think people are necessarily wanting to invest in that either because although quiet luxury has been trending I would say like the end of last year and this year that is also the opposite of what was trending a few years ago with all the logo mania I honestly think that like, most people wouldn't necessarily want to invest in that quiet luxury look either because you could get the look for less at a contemporary brand. Like, for example, I know The Row is doing a crossbody bag that looks like it's a very simple bum bag style, and it's over $1,000, but you could get that look for less if you went to Uniqlo. And that's the thing with the quiet luxury trend, is that although it seems like, you know, cool to buy something from The Row, you know, it's more of an if you know, a Laura Piana, it's a very small window I think that trend has to last. I don't think it's going to be as impactful as maybe the logo mania trend we had of the last few years but the logo mania trend has also become cringe now because of how oversaturated it is and then I also think that it's a bit become cringe because of all the super fakes and people are questioning whether their bag even seems authentic and I know that people don't always care about what other people think but when you're wearing a designer brand with a logo there used to be more of this, like, you know, novelty as to, like, you know, people would look at you and think, oh, she's wearing a really nice Louis Vuitton bag. But unfortunately, because these bags are now oversaturated, it is also associated a little bit with fakes. And people may look at you and think, oh, is that a fake Gucci bag? Is that a fake Chanel bag? Especially, you know, bags like the Chanel Classic Flap are very highly faked. So super fakes are very close to the real thing. That novelty of, like, flexing your designer bag is no longer there as much as it was a few years ago because of the popularity of fakes. I don't endorse buying fakes. I don't think it's good industry to support, but it does affect the appeal of luxury and it's been made it become cringe in a way, I honestly think. A lot of these desirable bags, you know, like the Birkin 25, the Mini Kelly, yes, you could you try your luck in the store and get one, but the illusion or the mystery behind that, it's all kind of ruined now because if you go on Fashion File, if you go on any pre-love website you can if you've got the money you can buy it guys you can buy any bag that you pretty much want in the world like there's a few ones out there like himalayan and all that even that you could probably buy on the pre-love market you know but all the designer bags are easily buyable by for anyone who has money so there's less mystery to designer bags as there was you know maybe five or ten years ago and they just don't seem as exclusive as they once were as well yeah guys there's just some of the things the thoughts i had as to why maybe luxury is becoming cringe now i don't think i would uh I'm, i definitely wouldn't look at someone and say oh they're wearing luxury that's so cringe but i do, do think that the attitude is starting to arise and more people are looking at like fun silly bags to wear or like as i said like the mcdonald's bag trend that super day could mentioned and I think, you know, wearing a Birkin, I know for me, I, I, I haven't been reaching for my Birkin because I don't want to look like I'm showing off. And I know that's just like a mental thing in my head, but I think a lot of people are like that, which is why they're opting for the quiet luxury. But that's also silly because when you buy luxury, you do kind of want people to know you're wearing a nice bag. 
Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Um, but yeah, let me know. Have you noticed that less people are buying luxury and do you think the trend is going to change and it's going to be on the, the these brands are going to be on the up again or is it the price increase is also really killing the brands because I think that's also what's making people really bitter towards these brands is how much the prices have gone up and they're simply just not willing to play the game anymore and you know try and save up to buy another bag when it's gone up a thousand dollars in a few months. I think people are really sick of that as well and they're just giving up on luxury. So, um, thanks for watching my video today. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!